How you doing? I'm gonna stand here and talk to you for a minute with the uh, flat horizon in the background. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention any names of any channels. What I am gonna say is that I've gone ahead and uh, I've deleted or uh, unsubscribed from a few channels. Uh, I just had these channels in my feed. That just every time I look at them, it's just Jewish, Jewish. It's the Jews. It's the Jews. It, it, you know, and it's like, and I, I understand where they're coming from, and I believe that uh, there are, you know, Zionist Jews that are involved. But I think that the Zionist Jews, like the fingernail clipping of the hand that is the power structure, you know, I mean, it's, it's bigger than that. It's just bigger than that. The, the uh, Yowen Green spans, those are the people that get put in the way. Those are the people that get put, you know, so it can, so it goes as far as them. And people say, oh, well, it was, it was Alan Greenspan. You know, you just, uh, you know, that's how they do it. You'll never actually hear about the people who are responsible, ever, having to take any kind of responsibility. I mean, they keep themselves so far removed from what they're doing. So I just, uh, you know, and it's like I'll look at my feed and I'll have like eight videos from that person just taking up all my feed and, it, and it's just hate, 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 hate. You know, I, I just, uh, I just want a more positive uh, YouTube feed. I guess that's what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, no, I just, you know. I get all my news from Alex Jones. <laughs> Not. No. Actually, ran into somebody that I know. I haven't, I haven't filled him in that the world's flat yet. But we talk, we used to talk a lot about things like World War III and all the stuff that you chase your tail with before you find out about the flat earth and you realize that it all ties in together and it all stems from the same lie. But before that, there's a lot of confusion, you know, uh, where it's like you think, you, you think you're getting news, you think you're getting truth from these channels. And I just, I don't know, even, even just to go and review some of my old videos that I put up a year ago versus what I think I know now and what I will know in a few years, you know, that changes as you go. Some things that you might be so sure about you find out, no, not at all, not even at all. You aren't even close to right, like you were wrong. And that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. As time goes on, it gets a little easier to discern what you're watching. Like, even if you watch the news, you gotta say, okay, what's the spin? Right, what well, you know, they're saying this, but what are they really saying? Or they're saying this, what's that gonna make most people think? You know, and then things where it's like, why are they even covering this particular story in the first place? Those are red flags too, you know. Why are they even covering this story? Why is this story even getting coverage? You know, oh that's that's what I wanted to uh I just wanted to wanted to say basically uh I personally am because I know that he's just another bought and paid for shill who's all part of the, the opposition. He's part of the... Because now they, uh, they get this movie coming out about the Boston bombing. It's fake. But here's Mark Wahlberg right here to tell it to you. To tell you this bullshit story of the Boston bombing. And it makes me sick. It makes me so angry because I know, and we know, that those things, I mean, look at the footage of the Boston bombing. You see that smoke? It's like poof. It's like white, white smoke. That's the kind of smoke they use in pyrotechnics. That's the kind of smoke that black powder, F11 powder, as a matter of fact, creates white smoke like that because it burns so fast, whoosh, and it's, it's like white like that. Um, there was no, there was no explosive power behind those those detonations at the Boston bombing, and uh, they used they used a uh, they used a war veteran who was missing a leg. They used an amputee, which, by the way, the woman I don't know her name, 
there was a woman who basically was an amputee who was playing the part about that uh, Boston bombing, right? Supposedly she, you know, blew off, got half of her leg blown off. Um, I never watch the news, never. But when I do, like when it's on and it's in my eyesight, every time I'll get some sort of a tidbit of information that'll come across that'll let me know, like that'll just confirm some of what I already know, right? Part of my sniffles, man, it's like five degrees out here. Uh, anyways, right, so there was a woman involved with the Boston bombing hoax. Um, I believe she was an amputee. Not too long ago, probably about six months ago, uh, I was at my mom's house, the news was on, and didn't I catch a quick little story saying that Boston bombing victim, whatever her name was, actually died in a car, car accident overseas somewhere, some, in some other country. She happened to be in some other country, and she died in a car wreck. Well, car accidents, heart attacks, accidents and suicides, like that's, we know who's, we know who's doing that. So, so she, she was involved with the Boston bombing and, you know, they just decided, get rid of her. It's a loose end. Get rid of her rather than have, why have her walking around talking, you know, and, uh, you know, it, but it did, it caught, it got the coverage, like, because everything they do is there. A lot of what they do is right there at the bottom on that screen at the bottom. They'll be telling you a story about something and they get that little scroll at the bottom that basically says, we're enslaving you. And if not you, we're gonna get your kids for sure. Grandkids, forget it, they're in chains. They have to tell you, they have to tell you. Just take a look at what Bill Gates said about vaccinations. Bill Gates, vaccinations, look it up. If we do a real good job with vaccinations, just look, just type that in. Bill Gates, if we do a real good job with vaccinations, and you'll see what the fuck I'm talking about. They have to tell you. They have to tell you what they're doing. And once they do, then it's on you. You didn't catch it. You didn't see. Well, too bad. We told you. And that's, there's, there's some sort of a cosmic law. Anyways, peace to all.